Pittsburgh Mayor Luke Ravenstahl signing into law a new domestic violence ordinance, something women's groups in the city have been pushing for ever since three police officers were promoted despite being accused of domestic violence. The ordinance requires officers to report suspicions of domestic violence and allows the chief to avoid hiring officers with histories of that kind of violence. But as Channel 4 Action News reporter Marcy Cipriani found out, there's a call for more to be done. The ordinance which passed just before noon was unanimous. You may remember this ordinance was initiated back in September when three of the four city police officers up for promotion have been accused of domestic violence in the past. So for many, today's ordinance is the beginning of change. Surrounded by wooden silhouettes of victims and their stories of abuse, dozens of women rallied outside city council, pleased a policy on domestic violence and police officers is in place, but still vowing to push further. We got a lot of work still yet to do, but this is good. A good first step, according to these women, but not enough. The new ordinance voted on by city council today allows officers involved in domestic violence to lose their service weapons, which is what this group has been fighting for. Only the decision on whether to take the weapon will be left up to the officer responding to the domestic violence call. We shall seize any weapon used to threaten or be used in the commission of the offense. That's if the responding officers find probable cause that there's evidence that some sort of crime of assault or of type of domestic violence crime has been committed. That discretion is what these women now say they will work to remove. It does disturb us somewhat because we don't want discretionary language in it. We want clear and objective policies and procedures in place. Although many people say they do want to still make some changes to this ordinance, there was a standing ovation when it passed.